Uh, hello guys today in this tutorial i will basically show you how you can use uh, the chromium browser in node.js using puppet air to actually log in into any website which has a login form where you can enter username and password so it can be either social media website facebook twitter uh, or any other normal website so i am taking an example here uh, basically this is a url here which is available for testing purposes the internet.harokuapp.com slash login so it's a simple login form and where you can simply log in with the sample credentials that they, that they give you uh, here you need to enter the username so here it is they are saying that tom smith will be the username and super secret password will be the password so if you enter any other details you will get an error something like this that your username is invalid so we will be programmatically doing this i am just showing you first of all how you uh, login forms are filled super secret password so this is very basic functionality after you enter username password click on the login button and as you click it you will basically see it is saying that you are logged into a secure area and we have a logout button as well so if i click that i will be navigated to the login page so we will be opening this using uh, uh, puppet air library guys in node.js automatically we need not have to do anything all the stuff will be done by puppet air it will open the browser automatically fill out the details in the login form and automatically login so i will be showing you how i do this so once i run the script guys as you see node index.js it will open the same uh, url automatically I am not doing anything. It will open the browser. Once the page loads, it will fill out the details and you will see that and click the login button and it will be redirected. You logged into the secure area and after that you can perform more tasks as well. But in this specific video, I will show you how to do this process. It's very simple. So first, very famous library for web scraping automation all that stuff so first of all uh, you just need to go to your node.js project and simply uh, install this library package and pmi puppeteer so this is actually the command that you write and pmi puppeteer so after you write this you can now write your project so first of all guys what we need to do is that we just need to require this library so we just need to require this library so let me just uh, save this code here yeah so we need to require this package right here at the top so after requiring this package guys what we need to do we just need to make a login form and here you will receive the username and the password whatever username password that you need to write and here you will open the browser you will load the puppeteer we will launch it and here it takes an headless option if you provide true then it will work in the background if you provide false then the browser will open you can see the browser opening so i need to see the browser opening and then here i will load the page the browser will open a new page in order to open a new page new window we will use this function and then we will write all the code in a try catch block so that if any sort of error take place we can console log the error after that we just need to navigate to that login page so await we will go to that page so here you will need to provide the url of your login form so this can be any URL, this can be any uh, website login form. I'm just taking for testing purposes this website. And after that, we just need to wait for the form selector. So wait for selector, the form selector, the form, login form to load on the screen. So after the login form loads, we can type in the 
automatically by using page.type and here we need to provide input type input name is equal to in double quotes username so this you will basically find out guys after you right click in the input field inspect element and go to the element so here this is the actual name parameter which is given so whatever that you website that you are targeting you need to give the same name attribute in some websites this name attribute could be different you need to give the same name attribute here that we are giving right here same goes for the password as well so page type input the same name parameter name password this time and close that and the second argument guys is the actual value that we need to write we need to write the actual username in the second argument and the actual password so here you will just write that and now after writing these two things we now need to submit the form and now to submit this we will click the button automatically so page dot click this is a method that we will use and after that we will again target the actual button by using this selector so these are normal selected guys that you used in html css so we are actually using those selectors these are simple vanilla javascript selectors here dom selectors button type submit we need to click this button after that we just need to wait for the navigation wait for navigation that's all so based upon that you can even check that the, if the user has logged in or not based upon the condition if you want to develop this application even more then you can have some more conditions that if you can show the logout button based upon whether the user has logged in or not so this you can do that uh, based upon the conditions if the user has logged in or not if the user has logged in then we can console log that login successful so this will be a boolean parameter either true false or and we can finally here close the browser browser dot close that's all so this basically here uh, when we call this function automate login form we will pass the username tom smith and the password which was super secret password so here you will pa uh, pass your own details username password so if you now see guys it will now open that browser that if unique url login form it will fill out the details and you will be redirected to the login page you are logged in a secure area we will see this logout button like this so in this way guys basically you can log in into any form in the internet using puppeteer library in node.js you can automate this process without having to manually write the details and then do this tedious process of going to the website filling out the details so you can do this using puppeteer so thank you very much guys for watching this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next one